Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Injunction from leadership. The government made laws to protect us. God made laws to protect us. That's why he's like, I command you to love, that's to protect you. Because he knows loving is not natural for you. But if you want to have the best life, he said you have to love in order to have the best life. That's just something I'm dropping with this love thing. I must be talking to somebody. That's not my message. But love is given to you as an instruction, an injunction, a law. It's a command. So God not leaving it up to you as a child to want to love. He said you have to love. If you want to have the best life, you have to love. That's what he's telling you. That's why he made it a law. You don't have to feel like loving. You don't have to think about love. You just have to love. Yes. That's why most of us got to understand, get out of this Holy Ghost. Love is not a feeling. No, 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 no. Come on now. And some of you young people better get this quickly. Yes. That you find yourself in a feeling situation yes. thinking you love somebody. Yes. Or in a feeling situation thinking they love you. Love is an action yes. word. Yes. Love is manifesting of what you do, not how you feel. That's lust and emotions and all that stuff. But love itself is an action word. Am I having anybody here? You're like, I'm off and run here. That's why I'm telling some of you, the young people near you, women and men alike, because the men being abused nowadays. Somebody say amen. Nobody can tell you they love you and then hit you. Those two things don't go together. They can't tell you they love you and then mistreat you. They don't go together. Let me just move on now. So I understand that you and I, we are living in the kingdom. Somebody say I'm a citizen. The Bible says you're a fellow citizen of the same as the household of God. So all of us right now, we have to know what our constitution is. What do you do from your constitution when you're in trouble? What do you do according to your constitution when you fall in weakness? What do you do from your constitution when the devil attacks you? Do you know what the constitution says about that? God help me here right now, Pastor. Can I preach this now? Do you know what the Bible says? What's your course of action to be? Do you know what your rights are? Have you researched your constitution? You will guilt your condemnation because you won't research the constitution. Do you know the ministry of the Holy Spirit? You panic because you don't research the Constitution. God help me here. If you know that tribulation will get patience, when you find tribulation, you will get all of us. Since you know your Constitution, all things work together for good. So you're looking at all hell breaking loose, but the Constitution tells me this is working together for my good. So instead of crying, I'm going to start dancing. I'm going to show God I believe that y'all ain't ready for this one. Uh, give me five more minutes, I'll be finished here in just a minute. Do you know your constitution? Do you know what your rights are? Do you know you don't have to be living in secret? I mean, do you know that? Do you know that you don't have to hide from church folk? Do you know that the constitution tells you that God chose you to live before him, not before them? The book said he chose us to be in Christ that we could be holy and without blame before him. And he made us holy and unblameable in his sight, not my sight. I may judge you. The name of my judge you, boy. See, I don't care what you think, but my constitution tells me I'm living before him. As long as I'm lined up in a peace with him, think what you want to. Do you know what your constitution says to you about wealth? Do you know the concept of seed time? I'm gonna preach it just a little. I'm not gonna preach. I'm just gonna teach. I, I came here faster. I came to wake you up a little bit. Do you know what God says about the situation? What does your constitution say you need to do? How do you need to act? Why are we acting the way of the world? That's not. We don't live by the constitution. We want God to get in our situation, but we're not in the constitution. We're not inviting him in according to what he has said about it. I'm preaching real good here. I'm preaching real good here. Have you taken time over in your faith with the situation? Before I respond to this, let me go to my constitution and see what, uh, what I'm supposed to do. I messed up again. Before I come to you, let me go to the constitution. The Constitution tells me there is now therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, uh, but after the spirit. So you can condemn, I can't condemn myself. I have constitutional protection. I got to get up and dust myself off and keep walking forward. Yeah. 
Bye-bye.